Hello, so in today's video, we're gonna do something just a little bit different. In case you didn't know, Microsoft have released Copilot for Microsoft 365. And yesterday, we published a video on our YouTube channel all about Copilot in Microsoft 365. But if you watched that video, you might have noticed that we didn't talk about Copilot in Microsoft Teams. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Now to do that, I thought I would set up a Teams meeting with my colleague Simon, and then we'd put Copilot to the test. So here is what happened. So what I'm trying to do is, is create a video showing people um, the benefits and how to use Copilot in Microsoft Teams. And I thought, who better to showcase this with than the Microsoft 365 expert himself. Now, before I start, what I've got to do with this meeting is I've got to switch recording on, so it, it automatically transcribes, so I'll do that now. I think you can do that automatically on every meeting in the back end. So that now is recording. Um, there we go. I can just close that there. So if I say to Simon, pretend we're in a Teams meeting and I ask you, uh, name the five biggest mistakes that businesses make whilst using Microsoft 365. So do you mainly sell Microsoft 365? We only sell Microsoft 365. Ah. Why have you got a Dell server box in your corridor then? <laughs> So with that in mind, if I now open Copilot to my right hand side, and we can ask anything of Copilot. So why don't we ask Copilot to summarize the meeting so far? And here we go. So if you're late for the meeting, you can see that Copilot now has highlighted things Simon has said. Uh, the meeting so far is about the five biggest mistakes. This is all quite accurate. And then Jonathan has also asked Simon why he has a Dell server box in the corridor. And that some people are not as enlightened yet to the world of Microsoft 365. So that is a summary of the meeting so far. So that's quite handy. We can also ask it to list some action items if we've got any. I don't know if we will have any from this meeting. No, we haven't. So maybe if I said, right, Simon, I've got an action item for you. If you could put your five biggest mistakes in Microsoft 365 into a blog post for me for next Friday, could you do that? Right, okay, let's list action items now. Ah, action items. Write a blog post about the five big, mis biggest mistakes, and this is assigned to Simon. So that is one area that you can use Copilot in your Microsoft Teams meetings. So another thing we could put into Copilot is something like, where did we disagree on this topic? See what that comes back with. Maybe it'll come back with something. There was no clear disagreement on the topic. However, Jonathan seemed to question Simon's choice of only selling Microsoft 365 and having a Dell server box in the corridor. Another thing we could ask Copilot is to create a table of the ideas discussed with their pros and cons. Let's see what it comes back with. Here we go. We've now got a table that we can use. So I can copy that and I can put it into any other Office application. So you can see there's lots of things that you can do with Copilot within your Teams meetings. Okay, so what happens if we've missed this meeting? We all miss meetings from time to time, and what do we do to make sure that we didn't miss something important? Well, I've gone into here, into the meeting, and I've now got a little recap option here. So this brings this page up here. And you can see here, look, we've got some AI notes. So we've got some meeting notes, and that's what was discussed at the meeting about the five biggest mistakes in Microsoft 365. This is fairly accurate. And then we've also got the follow-up tasks. And I think in that meeting, I, I didn't record this bit, but Simon said, I'll give you a call shortly. So that has logged as a follow-up task, okay? We've also got a co-pilot tab here, which I can open. 
and that will copy everything from the meeting that we typed in there so people can can come here and they can catch up okay so what about now if I type something else I'm not at the meeting the meetings ended but what uh, if I type I missed the meeting what was the most important topic discussed and you can see that even after the meeting has ended I can come in and I can recap I can list action items I can ask copilot what happened in that meeting so again copilot is a great tool for teams as a whole so there you go that is copilot in action in Microsoft Teams I think copilot in Microsoft Teams is actually really helpful I actually missed a meeting today I couldn't get there and it was helpful just to jump into the teams at the end of it go into recap and ask copilot a few questions about that meeting I hope you've enjoyed this copilot follow-up and I look forward to seeing you again soon